Once again, it's Flobo Tries. We're here in Studio 2, my living room. And thank you so much for making this show one of the funner ones. I know fun's not, funner's not a word. It's the name of a city here in California. Funner, California. Um, but on this one, this edition, I'm going to be chowing down with snack foods in front of my face. I want to thank you so much for riding with me. So I live in Los Angeles. Very high uh, Latino population, very high Latino grocery stores that offer candies and gifts and food and a lot of good stuff. And I came across this um, beast with Oreo, because uh, I'm a big Oreo guy. And if you guys have seen the hashtag Oreo tour on Instagram, I was one of the first ones to do that, just to go and taste all of the specialty flavors of Oreo to this day. Still a big fan of berry, uh, Rice Krispie treats, uh, lime is always a good one. And, and coffee is a good one too, or java chip is what they call it. So I was at the Mexican store um, and I was wanting to check it out. And it was like, basically it's a Kit Kat that's Oreo flavored. Uh, it has like little cookies in there. And before I get into that though, I had to see what the original one tastes like. So I got the original beast. Uh, this one here kind of has an inverted look to the Oreo one. So kind of like a twofer there, uh, just to give you a little bit of <clears throat> um, a little bit of a backstory. It's also from Mandela's, which was the former Kraft Foods um, brand that spun off into its own thing. Trying to see where this particular brand resides, where it's from. Um, I should have done this before, but who cares? We just do it all in one take, baby. It's all right. But it's from Lacta, which is a brand. Uh, in the region, Latin American region, I'm not sure where it was built or in a factory or, or what have you. Doesn't really matter at this point. Uh, it looks like it's just these wafers. Let's get to it. I right, figure out. This one actually set me back a pretty penny. These are about three fifty each. So it's actually, granted inflation makes things all weird, but it's actually cheaper to buy a pack of Oreos than the Oreo beast. And you see it here, <clears throat> excuse me. See it here, they're kind of individually wrapped. Kind of have this like this Pez dispenser thing about it, <laughs> which is pretty surreal. I thought it'd be like one piece or I'm not sure if that's uh, made to be shared because you know, I am incredibly fat. Whoops, uh, I would probably eat them all myself. And so one serving or one nugget, it's pretty small uh, as opposed to, you know, having a giant bar of chocolate. And this is the original beast. This is the the chocolate covered one with the the wafered, almost like a Kit Kat kind of a thing. I think that'd be the best way to describe it. Dark, darker chocolate, it seems, than the Kit Kat, but still milk, milk chocolate. All right, so the wafer, it's a little light and airy. It has more crunch, crunch vibe to it. Essentially, a less dense Kit Kat. I think that's pretty much the best way to describe it. I think I still prefer, prefer a Kit Kat, maybe because I was raised with that. But if I was at a party and someone goes, hey, want to try a beast? I'll go, yeah, why not? Can't go wrong. Actually, reminds me to also a similar food in Europe we actually reviewed on this show called Yogurette or Yogureta or something like that. Um, my pronunciation is pretty bad. Um, that has the same kind of airy kind of wafer to it. I think the Hershey version of the Kit Kat's the most densest one, I think, in that category. But I'll eat more of these. Well, chocolate's a little darker. Wafer is a little bit lighter. Um, you don't feel nearly as fat after eating one. But because they're so individually wrapped, uh, it kind of shames you when you have a pile of wrappers <laughs> just hanging out. Uh, I would actually get this again. Probably not like this, but if I was at a party or if I was at a grab, there was like a grab tub somewhere. Like if I was in a doctor's office, I had like a big like bowl of, of chocolate snack food, I would totally go into that. Or if it was a holiday party or a Halloween party, I would totally grab into that. But I don't think I'll go out of my way to try these again, which is what this is. Coolio. All right, uh, this one. Is the Oreo version, as you can tell, as I mentioned before, it's a little bit of an inversion. It says in the back here in Spanish, 
Um, it says layer of cream, wafer de Oreo, and um, deliciosa corbatura branca. I guess that means crunch. I don't know. I, my Spanish isn't really that good. Um, yeah. Other than that, they're saying this one says one serving is five of these block thingies. Just for comparison, uh, it's the same thing here. Five, five of these is one serving. Um, and of course, it's a high calorie food because it's essentially a candy. Hey, let's just go through it now. Uh, you're already getting a premium experience because the, the Oreo versions are lighter color blue. They kind of look like gum from this angle. Uh, and you can tell as I'm dropping them. It has the Oreo branding on it as well. Lighter blue shade, less in the pack, same price as a normal one. We're gonna pull it out now. So I'm expecting the same kind of crunch as Abyss, uh, the same kind of uh, airiness to it, but I wonder what the chocolate's gonna be. It looks like it's white chocolate from my tents. So the coating isn't all the way through. We can pretty much see the black layers, so it isn't like totally fudge dipped. It does smell like Oreo cream, though. This is going to be kind of fun. Okay. So, it has an Oreo cream, but ultimately, it tastes like a Hershey's Cookies and Cream Bar. Um, also, another Hershey product. This one's more of a Kit Kat. So, it tastes more like a Hershey Cookies and Cream Bar. Um, pretty dope. Uh, again, same situation. I would probably have a grab bag of these. They're nice. But I wouldn't go out of my way to have them. But they do a lot worse. I thought these were going to be like way too much of the cookie or the, or the chocolate part of the cookie for the Oreo. Especially having the dark chocolate of the normal bees. But the Oreo one, which I prefer of the two, is a nice balance of the cream flavor, the chocolate flavor, um, and that balance. So I like it. I like it. You guys recommend it. Let me know if there's any kind of candy or chocolate or food that you want me to try. And I'll definitely do it here exclusively on that Patreon for all the patrons out there, the Boisterous crew. This has been Flobo Tries. I'm probably going to eat a couple more servings of these. Yeah.